rodeo. And this is about a rodeo cowboy that showed up entirely inappropriately dressed. I mean, you know, you're supposed to have on a cowboy hat and long sleeve shirt and boots and chaps and spurs, and you're supposed to look like a cowboy when you're a contestant. Well, this old boy showed up wrong. You'll see what I mean. He walked into the arena, all dressed up to the brim. Said he'd just come down from a place called Highland Rim. Said he'd come to ride the horse, the one they called the brute. But he didn't look like a cowboy in his continental suit. We snickered at the way he dressed, but he never said a word. Walked on by the rest of us as if he hadn't heard. A thousand bucks goes to the man who can ride this wild cayuse. Mainer horse was never born in the one they called a brood. The horse that he was looking for was in ship number eight. He walked up very slowly, placed his hand upon the gate. We knew he was a thoroughbred when he pulled his sack of deuce in the inside pocket of his continental suit. Well, he rolled himself a quirly and he lit it standing there. Blew himself a smoke ring, watched it disappear. We thought he was crazy when he opened up the gate. Standing just inside was 1,500 pounds of hate. Well, the buckskin tried to run him down, but the stranger was too quick. He stepped aside and placed his arms around the horse's neck. He threw himself onto the back of the one they called the brute. And he sat like he was born there in his continental suit. The horse signed in was in the air, his front end on the ground. Kicking and a squealing, trying to shake the stranger down. But the stranger didn't give an edge, he'd come to ride the brute. Well, he'd come to ride the buckskin in his continental suit. I turned around to look at Jim, he was watching me. He said, I don't believe the crazy things I think I see. I think I see the outlaw, the one they call the brute. Ridden by a cowboy in a continental suit. Well, the brute hung his head, ashamed that he'd been rode by some city cowboy in some continental clothes. Stranger took his money, we don't know where he went, we don't know where he came from, and we haven't seen him since. Well, the moral of this story is never judged by what they wear. Underneath those ragged clothes would be a millionaire. Now everybody listen, don't be fooled for this galoot. A sure enough bronc rider in a continental suit. One dang good bronc rider in his continental suit. Oh, the cowboy in the continental